It's arguably one of the most awaited fixtures of this Euro 2024 last 16, which is currently taking place in Germany. And of course, the year 2000 champions France will be taking on Belgium in this last 16. Of course, it's going to be a very high stake match. The team that will manage to come out victors in this duel against uh, France and Belgium will make it to the water finals of this year's competition. It has been a competition of very many surprises and remember the defending champions Italy are out of this competition. Italy were not by Switzerland courtesy of two goals for Switzerland which managed to send the holders champions Italy back home and this match beating France and Belgium is going to be a very difficult duel for that matter. Coming to this match, let's go and look how these two teams managed to make it out of the group stages and France was in group D and uh, Belgium was in group E. I um, must say that France, the favourites for this competition, managed to come in second behind the eventual group winners, Austria and France managed to come in second with a total of five points. And on the other side, Belgium was in group D. Belgium also managed to come in second with a total of four points behind eventual group winners, Romania. We say that France and Belgium, these are very top-notch quality team that will be battling now to try and get a spot in that quarter finals but their journey to this last 16 has not been an easy one as the most of the people expected that France and Belgium were definitely going to top their group and that was not the case that somehow managed to unfold between these two great sides and we see that France has a very good caliber for that matter a very broad squad uh, full of talent mentioning the likes of Kylian Mbappe, the likes of Ngolo Kante, Rabio in that middle of the park and of course Saliba at the heart and on the other side Belgium is no pushover and they'll be coming into this match also trying to get something for themselves when they face uh, France and Belgium also on the other side has a very good team in the likes of Lukaku, Kevin De Bruyne, Alessandro Trossard and the list goes on and on. Well, let's go and see how many times these two teams have met coming into this Euro last 16. That is competitive meeting that both France and Belgium have managed to play. And in Euro alone, France has managed to play Belgium five times and France have won one of the matches and the World Cup France has met Belgium seven times winning a total of five times against Belgium and the National League France have played Belgium once and they've managed to win one match and you can see by the stats that I've just mentioned that uh, France has an upper edge coming to this match against Belgium but we've seen that this uh, Euro 2024 has not been easy for most of the teams I'm talking for the likes of Netherlands who managed to make it through but not really convincingly coming as the best loser to get that spot but these two teams are giants and it's going to be a very big battle especially in that center of the park and we've seen that Deschamps has managed to go with the experience recalling back the ever green Ngolo Kante who will be running things in that midfield and covering every blade of the grass to try and get those tackles and those final pass for France the interception the tackle the header the aerial duels everything is going to be very compact for both teams coming to this match, not forgetting Kevin De Bruyne who is very swift with his goal passing range and if given a chance Kevin De Bruyne can also score those goals for Belgium. Well let's go and see where this match is going likely to be won. I think that this match is likely to be won by individual 
the Williams because both teams have good caliber of players, a plethora of talent in their fold and it's not going to be an easy match, it's going to be a free flowing attack kind of football for both Belgium and France. Now let's go and look at the formation that both these teams are going to adapt coming into this match. You see that both teams are attacking in their own way and I think that both teams are going to adapt a very free-flowing kind of attack in the 4-3-3 kind of formation. But Belgium, since France has that a plethora of attack uh, led by the Pesci striker in the name of Kylian Mbappe. I think that Belgium is going to adapt a more a defensive approach and I think it's going, they are going to go with a 4-5-1 kind of formation and the likes of Kevin De Bruyne are going to try and feed Lukaku who has not been really on form in this Euros 2024. So many will be hoping that Lukaku is going to kickstart his Euro goal scoring spree against the favourites France coming into this match. And now let's go and look at the players to watch in this crucial match and the likes of Prosa, the likes of Kevin De Bruyne, the likes of Lukaku, the likes of Vatrogen and of course Onana in that Belgium setup and on the other side we see that the likes of Griezmann and Tom Griezmann's Ngolo Mkate and of course Kylian Mbappe will be trying to do much to try and make it for their team to the next round. Remember that at this stage last season, last uh, Euro rather it's where France were knocked out by Switzerland and it was a very embarrassing knockout for for France to eventually get out of that competition and we've seen that Switzerland also managed to get out uh, Italy by beating them by two goals to nil. So it's not going to be a very easy match for both teams. Now let's come into this match also. Let's go and look at the rankings coming into this match. We see that France is ranked second in the FIFA rankings and Belgium is in that third spot, a position that Belgium has been holding for a very long time. Remember that in the last four or five years or so, Belgium has been ranked as the most top team in the world and they've not dropped beyond that fourth spot coming into this match. Now let's go and look at the style of play that both these teams are going to adopt and we know that France liking, like keep, uh, to keep possession all the time and trying to switch those, those uh, long passes to the very pacey Kylian Mbappe to try and get those goals. And Belgium on the other side, I think that they may go out all counter-attacking depending on the formation that France is likely to adopt in this match that is there. Now the other thing I think that the team that is likely to settle faster in that midfield will have an advantage because remember that these are very, very top notch quality players and I think the midfield is the one place that is going to be a lot of duel, there's going to be a lot of ground to cover and I think the team that will have the character to go for it and the personality will come out eventual winners of this last 16 match and I think that France are not going to allow the same mistake that they did in the last Euro that is 2020 to come to play again when they face uh, France, uh, when they face Belgium rather and, and Deschamps will be trying to make a name for himself. Remember that Deschamps is the one that led France to win that World Cup a few years ago. Well, uh, another thing that may come into play is the uh, number of players that uh, France will be pushing forward to try and get that goal uh, f against Belgium and the one that uh, will be remaining to try and form that formation throughout the game because if one either of the team either France or Belgium make a mistake of not being in shape when being attacked then I think there will be a lot of damage and 
may to these two teams may not be in a position to recover quickly. So it's going to be an end to end match and it's going to be a free flowing attack brand of football but I think that France has an edge over Belgium going by the stats that I just mentioned for you. So expect a very entertaining brand of football, expect a lot of ground being covered by these players and uh, I just like to sit down and see the battle between the the hard tackling Onana who played straight in Everton against Ngolo Kante who has been a renowned box to box midfielder in that uh, France setup and he has done it all at club level and uh, he has a, he's also a World Cup winner for that matter so both these teams are going to come into this match first being taking a lot of precaution absorbing the pressure then try to dictate the pace of the game as the match goes on and on so we are going to see which team is going to come out as the eventual winners of this last 16 match between france and belgium well i think that is all for me and we'll be keeping tabs on all the matches that are taking place in this Euro 2024. Concerning this game uh, between France and Belgium, may the best team win. You can also give me your thoughts and views on which team you think that is going to make it to the quarterfinals of this year's showbiz between France and Belgium. I've been your host, Molo Collins at the Sport and TV, your number one leading sports channel. Let's keep the conversation going across all social media platforms and on Facebook. I'm at Molo Collins, give me your views and thoughts and I'll be sure to sample them when we do meet next time. As for me and the rest of my crew, it's bye-bye for now.